What is good YouTube? Welcome back to a brand new tutorial. It's Jacob from Tiny Tapes here and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to color in Premiere Pro. Today we're going to be coloring with my LUT pack. It is on my website. It is the ultimate LUT pack. It contains 250 plus LUTs that you guys can use for all of your projects. Trust me, there is enough LUTs in there to work on thousands of hundreds of videos. You guys can mix and match them. You guys can use them one by one. There's just a lot of options in there for you guys to use. Trust me, it is called the ultimate LUT pack for a reason. So if you guys want to go grab that, it is linked in the description below. That is what we are going to be using to color these clips today. Make sure you guys leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys want to see more videos just like this one, teaching you guys how to edit music videos, tips and tricks and all that. Anyways, guys, without further ado, let's hop right into this tutorial. All right, guys, so as you can see, we are in Premiere Pro here. We have four clips. We have a Ty Fontaine clip, a Chris King clip, a Maddox clip, and then a little candy pin clip. Uh, we're going to be coloring these clips one by one individually. As you can see up here by the adjustment layers, I can turn them on. I've already colored each of these. And I'm going to be showing you guys how I did that. And I'm going to be redoing it from the very beginning to the very end on each clip. By the way, these four videos were shot between me and Erasio. So if you guys don't follow Erasio, make sure you guys go check him out. He's a sick music video director. So first, let's start off with this Typhon 10 clip. I'm just going to zoom in here. As you can see. All right. So we're first going to start off with this Typhon 10 clip. It was shot in S-Log3, which is a Sony picture profile. I'm going to be making a different video in the future explaining picture profiles and how they work. It's the way the camera records the colors. So when you come into post, you have a lot more information to play with other than just shooting it, all the colors and everything there. So you can bring out certain moods and certain ideas with the coloring and post. So uh, let's hop right into editing this Ty Fontaine clip. Um, as you can see, I'm just going to play this out with the color and without the color. And I'm using Lumetri color here to color. We're going to be in the basic correction tab and then the creative tab. I sometimes use HSL secondary if I want to bring out a certain color or turn down a certain color. I'll show you guys examples of that in this video later on. We're going to be sticking between these three tabs right here. So let me just turn this adjustment layer off. We're going to go over here and if you guys don't already color on adjustment layers. I highly recommend you guys do so. So right click new item adjustment layer. Hit OK. We're going to drag and drop that over the footage just like that. Line it up perfect. And then, yeah, we're going to open our Lumetri color tab and get started. So we're going to head over to creative and then we're going to go over to look, click none. This goes onto my second monitor. So make sure you guys go to the thing that says browse. It's the third one. And then wherever your LUTs are on your computer, make sure you guys go to them. Once again, like I said, we're going to be using that tiny tapes ultimate LUT pack to be coloring these clips. If you guys don't have it already, it will be linked in the description below. I highly recommend it over 250 plus LUTs. Trust me, you guys will not run out of any LUTs anytime soon. Like I said, 250 plus LUTs. See, look, there's 282 and then there's a bunch of film LUTs at the bottom there. To start this off, I say we pick a completely random number. Uh, let's go with 212. See how that looks. Turn that on and off there. Not bad. So let's start with that. Let's say we use 212, for example, like I have clicked on there. Uh, we're going to be going over to basic correction next. And this is where it gets interesting. So a lot of people just slap the LUT on and leave it at that. Do not do that. That's why I am bringing you this tutorial. That's why you are here. You're going to be taught the sauce. All right. So let's say you just slap the lead on and leave it like that. Yeah. Like it's not as you know what I mean? Like it, it looks better, but we're going to be making it even better right now. So I think this needs some TLC. So first, we're going to start off with the highlights and bring the highlights up a little bit. See what that does there. It just brings out the sign in the back there and then a little bit of the motorcycle. So we're going to turn the highlights up to bring that sign out a little bit more. Let's go here in the clip so it shows the full frame. So I turn the highlights on max there. I think that's pretty good. And then the shadows. Um, I think we can turn the shadows down. I kind of like the dark look with the sign glowing. So I'm going to bring those down a little bit. So this is the before and this is the after so far. You can already tell it looks a shit ton better. And then next, I think I'm going to turn up the saturation just a little bit to make the image pop. That looks pretty good there. We can play with the contrast, maybe turn it down a little bit and then turn the whites up to get that popping a little bit more. I think that's pretty good. Um, I would maybe play with the temperature and tint a little bit. It's looking a little bit too pinky for my liking. I like those green undertones as well. So we're going to drag this towards the green. As you can see in the top left here, when I drag it towards the green, it makes it a lot more green and his t-shirt as well. So I really like that look and the sign too. So I like the green elements there. Let's just turn this on and off so you guys can see. And then maybe a little bit more of this orange. I really like implementing green and orange into my looks. I think it's a super cool color combo. And uh, yeah, I think we're going to leave this one at that. Uh, maybe you guys can turn up the exposure a little bit, but I, I wouldn't recommend that. Maybe the shadows a little bit more, but I like the darkness of this. I like the whole overall look. I'm just going to leave it at that. So once again, before, after, before, after. 
boom amazing right let's move on to the next clip all right so chris king pool table scene he's sitting on top of it uh, super unsaturated as it was before this is the one i did originally right so once again we're gonna go drag and drop our adjustment layer line it up over the clip click on it lumetri color let's go down to creative and let's find a lut so once again click on none all the way up to browse and then come to your folder where you keep your luts once again super super random i'm literally just gonna pick a random one uh, and see if i like it 273 uh i'm not a fan of that one let's go browse back again 70 uh that has kind of a unique look you know i like that see what it's doing to the balloon there and to his jacket so the darker blues are becoming very very light go over to basic correction this needs to be played with shadows. I'm gonna turn, actually no, I'm gonna turn the contrast down just to make the blacks blacker as you can see. See his hat here? His hat and everything is black. Turn that down, turn the highlights up. Get those whites popping a little bit more. Nice, saturation of course. Cool, I like that green undertone and a little bit of, mm. We like the green. A little bit more saturation maybe we're losing quality in the image that'll happen sometimes with LUTs it's not bad um I don't think this is the best LUT to be using so um this is the original one I did as you guys can see um I would actually maybe fix this a little bit by turning up the contrast some more and down the shadows so this is the original one I did and this is the one I just did now see it's two completely different looks what it's doing to the image I'm gonna say I like this one a little bit more um, the LUT I used for this one is 108, and then the one I used for this one was 70. So if you guys want to go for this look right here, use 108 in the pack. Both of them are bad. They're both a lot better than the original image. As you can see, a lot more is brought out. Uh, I like this one more. The, the tones here of the table and his skin are more of like an orangey brown compared to like a yellow. I'm not really a fan of that yellow. So, all right, I think that's it for this one here. I honestly like uh, this first one a lot better than the second one I did. All right, so the next one is with Matt Ox. I'll show you guys the original one I did here not bad i like it it's actually the look i used for the video so it's the same lut i'm using i used uh six for this one here so once again let's drag and drop the adjustment layer line it up and let's find a lut let's go over to creative once again hit browse and uh, let's go with uh 13 this time Ooh, i like that um it's making the sky a lot more blue all right so once again back up to basic correction this is where all the magic happens we're going to be turning up the highlights Nice, bring down the shadows a little bit. Just to let you guys know, I'm using Tilda to zoom in on this just so I can see it in a fuller screen. Uh, saturation up. I don't want to make his skin too orange, but I want that background to pop. I think that's perfect there. Let's bring up the whites a little bit and then contrast down. And then bring this more over here to get those skin tones while keeping the color. We're keeping the background around the same color. Um, making his face a little bit more pink all right and i think that looks good uh once again before after crazy look at that massive difference before after before after and this is the original one i did it's more of a filmy green look i like going for that sometimes but if you don't want to color it like that this is that option here so once again and to let you guys know, I used look 13 for this one. And then for this one here, I used look six. So if you guys want to use those in any of your videos, go ahead. All right. And then the last one here is candy paint. Let's work on this one next. So showing you guys this one quickly again, firstly, I used 28 for this look. And then just show you guys the basic correction. I brought up the contrast, turned on the shadows, brought off the whites, turned on the blacks a little bit, uh, brought the saturation. As you can see for the temperature, I brought it all the way to the right and I didn't change the tint at all. So Let's redo this one, drag and drop that adjustment layer, line her up, and let's get right into it. Go over to Lumetri Color, Creative, Browse. Let's try 150. Oh, I think we're losing information in his face here. So see his face, this line right here, and then when it's off, yeah, we're definitely losing information in his face here with this LUT, so I'm not gonna be using this one. And the difference between this as well, that one's not bad, I'm not gonna use that one. 206. Ooh, okay, that's really blue. Let's see if we can even it out here. That's nice. I like that. It's actually uh, extremely similar to the original look I had here. Actually, no, it's different. Um, 
I really like the way the oranges are looking in the background. And I think we can bring out uh, the green a little bit more. Anyways, um, let's go with this one here. So uh, I used 206 for this one and I turned up the temperature all the way to the right. So this is what it looked like without it. So make sure you guys are messing with the temperature on your LUTs. Trust me. And uh, let's get to the magic. Turn up the shadows a little bit. Do I want to turn up the shadows actually? I kind of like the darker look. I like how his face is two-toned. We did that purposely with the lighting. Um, I'm going to go for more of a darker look with this one. So let's turn down the contrast and just kind of focus on his face. And then I like the lighting in the background there. So because like when you brighten it up, you get a lot of grain. We shot this at night at like three in the morning. So I'm just going to turn it down to give it more of that look. And then what we're going to do since we're turning it down, we're going to bring up the highlights. So everything that is kind of glowing, it's going to glow a little bit more. So turn up the highlights there for and after already looks fucking epic play with the shadows a little bit more here maybe we want them up uh maybe up like a tad tad bit just to show off see his hand tat here i feel like it's we're losing information when it's down so let's turn that up a little bit uh that's a bit too much just a tad maybe turn the no i like the contrast maybe contrast up a bit shadows up a tad okay blow out the whites and then turn up that saturation to get the green of that lambo uh, we're losing a lot of information i really want the green of that lambo but i really don't want to blow out the oranges in the back so let's turn that back down we're going to be going over to our hsl secondary here clicking on the original clip um see this dropper with the plus we're going to click on that click on the lambo see we're going to get a bunch of information here we're going to go over to our correction let's turn out the blur a little bit and then let's bring this over to the green See how the color of the car is changing, making it more of a green. And let's turn that up without losing any info. Nice. It did on the original clips there. Uh, it's kind of completely different to the front. You guys don't have to do this if you don't want to. Here, let me just turn this on and off here. So see how it's changing uh, the side of the car sweater, but not the front. The viewer watching this on YouTube, like watching this candy paint video, wouldn't even notice. So like, if you guys want to go with it, go ahead. But uh, see the front of the car here, it's not changing that at all because it's too dark. Because the light on the right side that we're using to light his face is hitting the car, but no light is hitting the left side, so the front of the car. So I'm sure no one would notice, but um, it's totally up to you guys on what you want to do. I'm just going to leave it on because I think it looks cool. But uh, yeah, let's do the before and after here. Let me just turn this off here. So this is the after, before after before, after um and then after with the car brightened up this is more of an advanced option um i really shouldn't be putting this in this tutorial but i'm just gonna do it for the sake of this video fuck it and we're gonna duplicate this clip here i'm gonna be clicking on this clicking on the front of the car oh the dots oh i'm not a fan of those the noise maybe no that a lot more as you guys can see like color correcting like what i'm doing here is like a process that like you just have to do it a lot and you're gonna like learn and get really good at it you just need to fuck with, literally just fuck with the image i don't think that's horrible but i don't like the spots like once again the common viewer watching this video is not gonna notice this um but i notice it and i don't know that really helps bring it out especially the shadows here where they're grainy blurring that and bringing it up brings it out a lot more and the ground um i think i'm just gonna leave it personally it looks really it looks kind of weird like spotty here when you zoom out when you zoom in you don't really see it so i'm just gonna leave it once again this is like before i did it and then after and then this is like the whole ordeal here so before and then after so yeah guys if you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you learned something which i assure you you did uh leave a thumbs up and if you guys don't have the lut pack already what are you doing? Go cop that shit. It is linked in the description below. 282 LUTs plus seven film LUTs. So there's more than enough assets in there for you guys to use. It is actually insane the amount of shit that's in there. Um, anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to go support us, there are more editing packs alongside the LUTs linked in the description below. Make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe for more content. And I will see you guys in the next one.